Okay, I think for now we're ready. Okay. Uh... Yeah, sorry for the slight delay. Only by a couple minutes. A package came in right when I was about to... Uh, swap it over to here. And then... Once I go grab that, Molly starts going in the backyard. Be like, oh, great. Then I had to go get her. Okay, why is it frozen? Oh, I need to... Oh, no, that's all right there. Well, this ain't... This ain't posing well. Uh... Do I need to... Reset this? I don't like this. Uh, I think we need to... I think we need to give this a little reset. Because nothing's happening. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna reset it. Close the program. Yeah. Okay. It's weird. Like, it was frozen there. It was just frozen the entire time. <laughs> I don't know how long it was frozen for, but... That's hilarious. Hold on, give it a minute. Didn't realize it would get that screen too. Come on. Load. There we go. Ah, uh, technical issues. Oh, great. Now it's not... Now it's not kick, uh, clicking on the right one. Okay, now we now we're good. Okay. Let it give it a sec. Let it. Okay. <clears throat> so, last time we tried the twenty win streak and then failed. And so, I'm thinking of about using my Greninja that I had. I'm pretty sure this is pro this looks properly EV trained. Uh, it has protein, and we're gonna use Greninja instead of Starmie. Timid nature. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. Is that what we're about to get? I don't know. Uh. <clears throat> So I was really thinking about this. I'm like, is this worth it? And I looked into Metagross, and I realized that, I don't know if this was Gen 6, or maybe this was Gen 5, but Steel-type loses its resistance to Ghost and Dark. So that means Metagross and Starmie team-up is not a good combo, because both are times too weak to Ghost and Dark. So... Swapping Starmie out is actually a good idea now. Or at the very least, these two cannot be on the same team anymore. Because that's part of the problem. And one thing I realized, one thing I realized about Heracross. We have 85 speed. That's our base speed. And when we Mega Evolve, it turns out Mega Heracross has 75 Hey, Pablo. How's it going? We're about to go for uh, the Battle Mason Ribbons. And I failed the singles last time. So we're going for it again. But yeah, I think the reason why the Grump Pig was faster uh, was because I, lo I ended up lowering my speed. And either we were speed tight or uh, the Grump Pig, just that particular Grump Pig was just faster. Come on. But how's it going? How's it going? We are going to take the expert belt, give it to Greninja. What? Oh, there we go. Okay. And then I was really thinking about, is Greninja, like, a good replacement for 
Starmie in this particular case. And I was really thinking about it, and yeah, we become... <clears throat> We're immune to Psychic, we resist Dark and Ghost now. We have a way to deal with both of those things now. Oh, wait, I just remembered something. <laughs> Getting tangled up here. Uh, let's check Metagross very quick. What are your stats? Special attack is way down there. I was thinking of replacing Toxic with uh, Psychic, just to give... Uh, because I was thinking we won't have a way to use Psychic anymore. Uh, we'll go in as is, but if we need to, we might have to go teach Zen Headbutt to him. Just to give a Psychic move availability. Veracross. Greninja. Metagross. I hope, I hope you like Battle Tower stuff, because that's what we're doing today. We are doing the normal singles. We need to get to 20 wins and beat the Battle Mesa and get our ribbon. We don't need bottom screen. But how are things going? Uh, how's how's chat doing? Okay, we want well, maybe to swap. We don't. We don't want to stick around. So yeah, I was really thinking like, is Greninja a good replacement? And yeah, we're immune to Psychic, so that's now a safe swap in. Uh, with the moves we have for Greninja, you know, Scald replaces Water. You know, we still have that. We still have Ice Beam, which takes care of Flying and. It takes care of uh, uh, dragons, so we still have that. I was thinking, what are we losing? We lose T-Bolt and we lose Psychic. Well, with Psychic, I can maybe get uh, a Psychic move on Greninja. Only if they don't nerf Greninja. Imagine if Gen 6 got a random update and they just nerf Greninja. <laughs> In you know in 2023, e just imagine if that were to happen. I also go with Brandon. It, 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 this I mean this is like the second time you appeared in stream. What's going on? Been a while. But I, I think like the main thing we're really gonna be losing by uh, having Greninja instead of Starmie is the fact that we don't have a safe swap in if we have to deal with Psychic. Or, not Psychic, uh, Fighting. If for whatever reason we don't have access to Heracross, and we need to, you know, we have to go into a Fighting type, it's not safe. However, if Greninja's already in the fight, we can turn into a Water type and be perfectly fine. So, like, we just lose that ability, whereas, you know, Starmie could just swap into a fighting type and be perfectly fine. But that's kind of what we lose. Water flying. Okay. Well, go to Greninja, I guess. I mean, a decent surface of work. I see. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you for that. And I was just thinking, like... You won't really get the most out of it unless you show up, and here you are. You showed up. Ah. Uh, we'll go with Dark Pulse. Become a pure Dark type. Yeah, we got through all the annoyance that is Gen 4. Now we're. Maybe on easy street for a little while. We'll see how tough the Battle Mason actually is. 
But yeah, when I lost to basically the Frontier Brain, uh, we'll go to Dark Tide again. Yeah, when I lost to the Frontier Brain here with the Greninja and uh, or the Grump Pig actually. First of all, for some reason Heracross before when I fought Grump Pig was faster. So either that means Mega Heracross and Grump Pig are speed tied and I just got unlucky. Or that meant that the Frontier Brain's specific Grump Pig was faster and that was just going to happen. It's hard to say, but I do know this, that normal Heracross has 85 base speed. Grumpig has 80, and since Mega Heracross has 75, maybe we were speed tied. It's hard to say, but I do know this. If you Mega Evolve, like here, on the, on the same turn you Mega Evolve as, you keep your normal speed. It readjusts the speed calculation on your next turn and going forward. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to see if I could turn off animations. To make this go faster. Oh, great. Wingle. Just what I need. Again, Metagross would be a great swap in, but he doesn't have a good move to deal with Wingle. If I had a Psychic move, sure, but... Uh, Dark Pulse. There we go. But even if we have to deal with fighting types, Heracross can just stay in for a little while. Again, it's just more of a... Uh, Greninja cannot just swap into a fighting type. It is dan That is dangerous. Oh, how cute. Now yeah, get out of here. You know what? Before I do more, let's see if we can turn off battle animations to make this go faster. Because we got a lot of battle tower to go for. Uh, we are going to take... We take a break, put the challenge on hold. You can do this at any time. It's great. Okay, so let's... Let's see about... Battle effects? Off. Confirm. All right. Go back into... Oh, wait, do I have to set everything up like normal? Or can is there like a continue option? Just battle. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Keeps you going, and you can even swap your team around if you really wanted to. That's cool. I mean, this is very nice for. Bow tower stuff, just you can start and stop at any time, and if you feel like your team's not going to be working around, you can just swap it around. Instead of having to wait through get through seven battles. Again, the fr We're kind of on easy street until we get to the frontier brain. Yeah, this is just going to be a little bit dull. And wait, did we see the animation? Did they still play it? Normal fire. Arm thrust will be fine. Okay, no, we skip animations. Good. We're speeding this up. Spinner rack. And I don't have anything good. Can we pin missile it? Too bad I don't have Rock Blast. Yeah, 
There we go. Get out of here. You may resist bu you may resist bug type moves. But you can't beat Mega Hair Cross's 185 base attack. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Actually, I want to see the actual stat number change. Like when I saw that, I'm like, oh, that's why Mega Hair Cross is so strong. <laughs> Alright, I, I... Stunky, Poison, Dark, Arm Thrust is neutral. <clears throat> Alright. I'm curious. Might not appear on top screen yet, so let's check the summary. So his cur uh, hair cross, the current attack is 170. That is the current attack strength, 170. We'll go on thrust. Stunky will probably get out of here. Oh no, aftermath. Oh, I should have gone with I should have gone with pin missile. Oh well. Okay, we got Drowsy. That should be faster. Okay, so 170. 230. I think, if I'm doing my math right, I my attack went up by 50. <laughs> Just by going Mega Evolution. Yeah, that was a little ridiculous. And watch Swine Up do Endure or Protect. Oh, never mind. We're speeding this up then. I am hoping to beat the the 20 win streak and at least get the ne uh, the next win streak started. I don't know how far. Maybe another 20, because for we have to do super singles. And we have to get a 50 win streak. So at the very least, I would like to get that started. Mega, arm thrust, we're good. Yeah, I think well, without knowing how Battle Tree is going to go through or Super Singles is going to go through, granted, yeah, easy win for Heart Threes. I mean, when you currently have a 230 attack power right now, yeah, it's it's an easy win. How's it going, Hot Corn Dog? We'll go with, yeah, we'll go with Greninja. Ice Beam, there we go. Yeah, uh, Hot Corn Dog. I real, I looked it up, and Steel types as of either Gen Six or Gen Five. I forget. Wh I'm not sure which. Uh, Steel types lose their resistance to Ghost and Dark types moves. So Starmie and Metagross is not a good combo. That, that girl said her family disowned her. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what is this text? So, swapping Starmie out with the Greninja that I had was a pretty good call. Something to deal with, basically, ghosts and dark types. And being immune to Psychic is just a good, a good replacement. The other option would be to swap Metagross out with something else. 
but I'm not sure who that would have been. Yeah, Stunky, you're gonna try to use Aftermath. That's not gonna happen, because I use Pin Missile. Deal with it. Steel Ghost. Um... Okay. I don't have a way to deal with that. Even if I had Rock Blast. Yeah, go ahead and try that. It's not gonna work. Earthquake. Yeah, maybe Greninja might have been the better option. I could use Dark Pulse. It's hard to say sometimes. Okay. I mean, I didn't get hit by Metal Sound. I was expecting to get hit by a steel type move, though. Although, thinking about it, Haircross is part fighting and wouldn't have done that anyway. Well, how's it going, Hot Corn? Uh, There's some Overwatch, too. Play a lot of May. She's alright. You gotta play selfishly with her, unless you know how to place her eyes fall. Right. Because that ice wall can help out the t can really do a lot of benefits for helping out your team, but might not be a good, like, newbie player to figure that out right away. It takes a lot of experimenting, right? As someone who has not played Overwatch. Wait, incinerate? You have a fire type move, why? I mean, that's a good combo. Poison type, I can't deal with it. So it's just, but it has a fire type move to work with, which Heracross is weak to. That works. Why just messes them up since it blocks both allies and enemies, right? Yeah, we'll keep her, like I should be fine. Until you manually destroy it, or automatically destroys itself after five seconds. Yeah. It allows you to get... Uh, it either allows you and your group to, like, back, like, separate the two groups and regroup, or you can use it if you, if you're lucky. You can use it in a way to separate one or two members of the other team <laughs> into so they can uh of the other team to fight the rest of your team so you can gang up on them and the other team has to either go around or destroy the ice wall like if all of your i think it's five on five right so if all of them like are charging each other at the same time and you manage to get an ice wall in a way to where you separate uh, one of their team on your side of the ice wall and the other four on the other side. Hey, that lets you gain up on them. You know? That's a strat. Well, obviously not every scenario is like that. A again, as someone who has not played Overwatch, I should expect to fake out now. I, I, oh well. Let me, uh, let me out still fast. Huh? What is? Let me out speed. Because maybe it might be best to not Mega Evolve turn one. Okay, I am not staying in here. Uh, Metagross. Okay, one meow. I have no idea what who, who did. Just paying attention. 
Ice Punch. Then now, where are you? I want to see your speed. No, I went too far. Another Ice Punch will do. Go me out. There we go. What's your speed? Your speed's 85. Okay. So, if I were to run into Grem Meow first turn, I'm better off not Mega Evolving. At least on turn one. Use Protect. Bait out that fake out. She's not great in Team Deathmatch, but she's really good in push game modes and control game modes. I see. Time for the pin missile. Get out of here. Again, when you have a Heracross, when Mega Evolves jumps the attack power by like 50, yeah, it's a little ridiculous. Again, normal Heracross's base attack is 125. Jumping to... Mega Heracross, the base attack is 185. It's a little ridiculous. Both defenses go up. I mean, special defense only goes up by like 10, which is fine. Ah, oh, Fury Swipes. Well, I was baiting Fake Out. The defense jumps up. Like, defense is normally 75, now Mega is 115. Special attack t stays the same, but the trade-off is speed. By 10. Ooh. Covering herself in ice, where she is immune to everything and she heals for herself for 6 seconds. But she can't move, nor can she attack. <clears throat> I see that as a way to stall the opponent. Like, you're being gained up by, like, a bunch of... Oh, like, by, like, the full enemy team, right? You get into that position where you start healing yourself, neither of you could do anything, and you got to hope your other team members do something about it. That's the way I see it. Okay, Metagross it is. Stockpile, okay. Earthquake. Get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, Citrus Berry. Okay, it's gonna take a couple more. A couple more Earthquakes for this. And too bad I can't Toxic the Swalot. Okay. Those are little robot friend who does an AOE that does chip damage and freeze build up for about six seconds. And if the enemy stays too long in it, they freeze. Is it possible to get that little robot friend going and on this and immediately go into the the ice immunity thing, or is that a you only get one or the other? We'll just earthquake, it's fine. And then do to, die to a Shadow Ball. It's all good. Oh, Moody. 
That's... That's gonna be fun to mess around with. You can do both, but only if you have your... Only if you have a charge shop, of course. Theoretically, you can place a wall, then do her ult to st stop the enemy from escaping. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I, I didn't mean the ice wall. I meant the the one where you put yourself in the ice shield and you can't do anything. Like, could you uh, do both of those at the same time? Okay. If I'm correct, Vigoroth tends to like to use Fake Out. You know what? We're gonna scout this. Endure. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, that didn't work. That was a waste of a move. But guess what? I baited out a potential Fake Out, and that's all that matters. The only thing stopping you is cooldowns, but using two abilities at the same time is not good. Okay. Yeah, I, I figured that might have been possible, but I don't know if if uh, Overwatch has a thing to where you have to choose what abilities to have. Like, you can't have everything. You have to make decisions on that. And maybe you can't have one and you can't have two things at the same time. I don't know. Like, you, you can either have the robot thing or the immunity, not both. Dragon, ground. Bolt Seed's neutral. I think everything's neutral. I'm just going Pin Missile. We got a crit. That's the cool thing about moves like Pin Missile, multi hit moves like that. Each move has a chance to be a critical hit. Theoretically, all five could be a crit. Granted, it's not likely, but it's entirely possible. I wouldn't bet on it. But you'd bet at least one of the five to possibly be a crit. Imagine if this was Gen 1, where crit is based on how fast you are. You could probably bet all five of them are going to be crits, although Heracross is not that fast. Ponyard, okay. I don't think Ponyard has anything like fake out, so we should be fine. A dark seal type. Oh, well, I have a way to deal with that. I have a bug that can deal with this perfectly. You know, Ponyard is like the complete, like, wrong typing to send out in front. Dark's weak to bug. And fighting, steals weak to fighting, you know, it's not a good matchup. It really isn't. Maybe? There it is. Has to hit all five times, but that's going to happen. Oh no, I'm so scared. I thought Puchayina had... Intimidate. I know Mighty End does, but... Oh, it might have Run Away instead, and then it becomes Intimidate. One, yeah, okay. Run Away, Quick Feet. Intimidate, Quick Feet. Oh, okay, there it is. We're doing this again. Okay. I mean, they are common in Hoenn. Makes sense. Let's 
sucker punch. Oh no! I'm so scared. Uh, stunky. Okay. Here's the thing about the frontier brain. I'm pretty sure. I, I could be wrong. But I think they don't have a set team. So I can't just rely on, like, oh, I know exactly what they're gonna do. I don't think they're the same team. I could be wrong about that, though. It's like Battle Factory, I think. Whereas, you know, you fight the Frontier Brains in Gen 3 and 4, that's not Battle Frontier Factory. You know exactly what they're using. Maybe not the right, maybe not the order, but you know exactly what they're using. Are you supposed to be my new overlord? What? Why use the term overlord? A fool's blast that shoots like an ice flamethrower. Okay. Kills down an enemy. The second option is shooting an icicle that takes half a second to charge, and it can do headshot damage. Ah, oh, so it's almost like a sniper in that case. So you basically have two options, the pyro or the sniper, essentially. I was basically kind of talking about this situation here. There's no way to safe. you can't safely swap into Greninja like this. Not that I would need to. I think Armfrost would probably be okay. But in a scenario like this, I wouldn't need to swap into Greninja. Heracross is fine. It's more of if I already lost Heracross and I was already in uh, Metagross. I'm confused. Oh no, I punched myself in the face. Dynamic punch! Miss! This ain't going well. Oh no! Okay, now we can actually go into Greninja. Because I will go first, I could just use Scald. And just become a pure water type. Now I'm not weak to fighting type moves. Dragalge. Okay. Poison. Poison Dragon. I see. Okay. And Skull. He more is a Pokemon I didn't use in Gen 5. I just thought it, all, it just looks stupid. I wonder if it's actually any good. Because the equivalent would have been Durant. And I hear Durant's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a Bug Steel type, so... I just hate Durant so much. Poison Bug. I don't... Oh, well, this is the same as Spinner Axe, so I could just stay in and use Pin Missile, I guess. And only if I had Rock Blast. Oh no, it's getting stronger. That's actually bad. Okay, let's hope we survive whatever this next attack is. Poison jab. Ouch. That did a lot of damage. Oh. 
poison point. Okay. You know what? <laughs> We're gonna let go bad. Just get this win. I don't... It's fine. If it wasn't using Fly right now, I would have gone with Greninja, but we'll go with Metagross. And then we'll go with Ice Punch. I could have gone with Greninja, but Greninja probably would have taken some decent damage from Fly. I'm, I just wasn't going to deal with that. Oh, <laughs> Colbat, you're frozen solid. Why aren't you falling to the ground? You're not flying anymore. How? Okay, no. Excuse me. Metagross. That Golbat is frozen solid. It can't move. How did you miss? Did you trip? Is that what happened? And of course, Golbat. You almost wonder why there isn't a factor to where if... A Pokemon's frozen solid, your accuracy should be 100. Because they can't move. You almost wonder that why that's not a thing. Same with being asleep. I mean, that just means sleep would be even more powerful than what it already is. And maybe we don't need that. Massive amount of metal power to keep himself up. I mean... Yeah, mental power to keep himself up. I guess. I guess he just kind of thought of something else. And just for a second lost focus. Just kind of tripped then. And maybe Metagross got too overconfident right there. Mega Pin Missile, there we go. We are now Mega Head Across. Waterfall did a good amount of damage. If I actually used uh, Arm Thrust, that would have been bad because Sharpedo has rough skin. Each individual hit would have. We survived on one HP. And that was not with the power of friendship. But yeah, each individual arm thrust would have effect uh, get affected by rough skin. That would have been bad. Oh no, intimidate. Arkali surviving on one HP managed to sweep this entire team. Again, imagine if you baton pass a bunch of agility onto Heracross. Maybe even Sword Stance, because why not? Be a, be a beast, be a monster. Axion. Is that... Okay, yeah, that's Psychic. That's Water Psychic. Okay. You know what? We have a counter specifically for that. Get out of... Get out of here. Ooh, Safeguard. Now you can't be affected by status effects. Question is, are you going for Psychic or are you going for Flamethrower? Doesn't matter, because you're out of here. Sunfisk. Ground Electricity. Okay. I could stay in. You Scald. And hope we get the kill. But we are now weak to electricity. Oh, and endure. Okay. Never mind. 
because it could have just hit me with like some sort of electric move now, but it didn't go for that. Carnivine. All right, Ice Beam it is. I could have also used U-Turn and go back to Heracross. Not needed though. Definitely not needed. Oh, 19? Okay. We're close. Cat turn. Oh, yeah. Grass dark type. <laughs> oh. Oh, have I got a Pokemon to deal with you? Yeah, Cactur cannot deal with this. You're up against the wrong Pokemon. Get out of here. Uh, Stunfisk. Again, ground electric. Since you are part ground, we can bullet seed. <coughs> DPS and Overwatch is May and Reaper. How does that work? Uh, uh, explain, explain to me who Reaper is, because I... Then, because... I, I know who May is, but I don't know who Ra Reaper is. At least not on the top of my head. Like, I recognize the name, but I can't picture who it is. You should be at the Frontier Brain. Yep, the Battle uh, Chanteline. Or however you pronounce that, we're going for it. Alright. Oh, do you say the same thing? Yeah. Yeah, you say the same thing. Starting with Grump Pig. Okay. This is interesting. I am going to protect turn one. Because I forget what... Okay, it's going for Psychic. I forget if Grumpig had Fake Out, and I think that might have been part of the problem. So... I am currently faster than Grumpig. Grumpig has 80 speed. I have 85. If I Mega Evolve... On the next turn, I'll be down to 75 and Grumpig... Well, either Grumpig's faster or we're speed tied. I'm not sure. However... On this one turn, I'm still faster. I still go first. But now I have Skill Link, so we should be able to take out Grumpig. There we go. Honestly, Greninja was here just kind of for that, but... But we... Dealt with it first. Oh, per ugly. Alright, Arm Thrust. So, she does use the same Pokemon. Just maybe not the same order. Okay. Wasn't sure on that. Dreamy. Okay. Well, that sucks. The last one is Wigglytuff, which is normal fairy. So, let's stick with... Let's send Greninja in. I want to save Metagross for Wigglytuff. I should be faster. Let's stick with Scald. Mm. Okay. 
Now it's Wigglytuff. And I know Wigglytuff has Thunderbolt. So... Doesn't really matter what I go, what I use. Just get out of the water typing. Oh yeah, duh, you're part fairy. Oh yeah, Shell Belt. So I bet you Wigglytuff is gonna go for a fairy type move. So if I go to Scald. Focus Blast. Okay, went for fighting. That. Okay, this is interesting. Metagross it is. I thought I would have a fairy move. So, normal fairy. Weak to steel. There we go. If I missed, it could. Wiggly Tough would have gone for Focus Blast. And no, what I do. Ye weren't really trying then. Is it not yourself who is the Hoenn champion? Should we meet again? I'll be giving it my all. If you want to battle against me, serious. You wouldn't be going astray to train up a bit. Thanks, Emil. Come back again sometime. Reaper's DPS character who uses two shotguns and shoots them one at a time. His two abilities. One is a teleport where you look at the area you want to teleport to and then teleport. Second ability is to turn to a mist where your shotguns reload. He's immune to all damage for four seconds so he can move faster than normal. I see. I still need to look up what he looks like. I'll probably do that here in a sec. Uh, no, we don't need that. We don't need to save this video. Please do super singles. We should have... Here, let me, uh, put this up. We should have a new ribbon. Um... Is this it? The skillful bow? That must be it. Hold on. Yeah, that's it. Given to you... Give it to a Pokemon that has achieved victory in difficult battles. Okay. That's it. Alright. We got one more. Defeat about a frontier brain at the 50 win streak on super mode Battle Mason. Black Titanic subface that looks like a skull. I need to look this up. I'll do that here in a second. Super singles. Let me set this up very quick. Uh, we don't need the bottom screen anymore. Oh, I already have a super single streak going. Okay. Even if it's only like six. Okay. I mean, that's something. So we're on like, what, battle seven? Okay, well, I mean, we got a slight head start, I guess. Uh, look it up, Reaper. Hold on. Uh, let me just... I should be faster. Even when I'm Mega. Oh, okay, I've seen this. I, I, I've seen Kit Reaper before. Okay. Yeah, I just needed to look at the image. Okay. So what's this combo with May and Reaper? Gengar. Ghost type. Don't have a way to deal with that. Could have Psychic. I'm going with Greninja then. Hypnosis, oh, okay. Dark Pulse. I'll 
Oh, Focus Sash. I'm like, what? How? Well, we lucked out and avoided Hypnosis. Greninja was the only one that could be faster than Gengar. Bear Tick. My other Mons are better for the situation. Uh, but it's not bad. We could stay in. Try to burn it. You know, let's try to burn it. We got a crit. And we got the burn. Perfect. Of course you hit both times with Stone Edge. <laughs> Look how little that did. Oh, that's amazing. Stalled so good. So yeah, what battle are we on now? Again, we should be doing battle number like eight, I think. Based on what it said. Yep, okay. A head start, but not by much. Obviously, it was from, you know, like, what, eight years ago <laughs> when I was playing this? Holy Toad, Water type, I could bolt see. Hobbito could be using Parish, Parish Song. Uh, am I faster than Polytoad? Looks like it, I guess. Maybe not now. Not good in Dark Area, but he can hide easily in his base game, but still. Drip over function. I mean, that's the thing about Overwatch, isn't it? It's all about how you look. M more or less. Gotta show off. Gengar again? Okay, fine. Um, in Overwatch, to get skins, is it something you pay for? Or maybe you do anyway. Is it something you pay for, or is it like, oh, during this event, if you do these things, you get points, and if you get enough points, you get the costume? Oh no, I'm having a nightmare now. Greninja, you better wake up soon. We... We need you, Greninja. This is this is like your only chance, Greninja. Get up. Wake up. Oh, good. And I bet you Gengar has a Focus Sash again. Yep. How rude. Well, no matter which way I go with, Gengar's gonna be faster and might go for Hypnosis. There's both. There's also some free currency you get in the game that you can use to get skins. Yeah, okay. But obviously, if there's a current event, you kind of want to grind it out. Well then. Versus actually paying for it. I don't like this. Hypnosis. It's the new system for the old loot box system, really? Okay. Dream Eater. So Gengar is going for Hypnosis Dream Eater. Well, we have to start Super Singles over. It's a good thing I wasn't that far in. Really, I only won one battle. Okay. So, the Gengars that we have been seeing are kind of the... have been the same. What we go in here? to 50. I am should be different. Okay. I don't know what I was trying to look for. 
Let's change the music. Oh, I wish I knew which one was which. Oh, I, I wanted to know if there was, uh, like, sleep claws. Three Pokemon may appear. No duplicate items. Limitations exist. Item limitations exist. I was trying to see if there's a sleep clause. So, we haven't run into a Gengar with Psychic. It makes me wonder if all Gengars that we've run into are the same. Or the same one. If that is the case... Okay, trainer battle. I think I really wanted four. Something different. Well, we have a uh, bullet seed. So, if, if all the Gengars we fight are going to be the same one, where it has like Shadow Ball, Hypnosis, Dream Eater, I don't know what that last, uh, what the last move would be, but you know, that's what I know. If that's the case, we are better staying in as Heracross. And try to go for a hit. Because if he misses with Hypnosis, then that's great. I hit him with Pen Missile. If Gengar does hit me with Hypnosis, then we know... Oh yeah, Nightmare was the other one. Then we know next turn he's going for Dream Eater or Nightmare. I could just swap to Greninja. Basically get a free swap. Uh, poison, Grass, Pen Missile. Oh, this one's a staller. Actually, uh, okay. Reaper's DPS output mixing with May's ability to slow down enemies and block the movement. Works well since Reaper's all oh, death blossom is AoE attack, where he shoots his guns in all directions for massive damage. Oh, okay. It's more of the slow down pairing well. Pairing well with uh, his DPS, I see. This ro Rose Raid is just stalling this fight. Okay, uh, there was something I wanted to look up. Let's see. We're gonna keep, keep that going. Uh... Not Pokedex. Let me look up Mega Ruby. Actually, it didn't matter which one I look up. Let's see if I can find the Battle Mason. Alamosaur? So, I should switch, because I don't have a good way to deal with Muck, but I already know he's going to do some sort of move like Fire Punch. If the tank is causing you trouble, just by himself, he can put DPS in any healing on oh, Okay. Oh no, I can't use... Uh, I can't use moves twice in a row, or I can't use status moves? Ooh, so scary. Oh, it's Zoroark! I see. I was actually better staying in with Aircross, but how would I know that? Okay. Let's see. I don't need to know... Sp 
Crocodile today. Crocodile should be faster, and I think I need to save Metagross. So we are going to swap to... Metagross. Okay, hold on, I want to check something. No, I don't need items. No, not the battle shop. Oh, it's... Okay. It doesn't really matter which one I use. Uh, I was trying to see if Battle Mason had something like a sleep clause. I'm not really seeing anything like that. But yeah, if we see Gengar again, I think it's best to stay in and try to hope f to dodge Hypnosis. Okay, we're staying in. Nothing I do is good against Muck. We're, we're staying in, though. To heal 30%. Honestly, that's a good ability for a DPS unit. Poison jab. Okay. If Muck had a fire move, he would have gone for it. I have a feeling we're probably going to be relying on Greninja. Nope, I'm faster. Duh, it's a pile of sludge. Of course I'd be faster. Yep. <clears throat> Talk about Overwatch, I guess. Is there a character that's very broken right now? Or is everyone pretty balanced? Oh, buzz. Okay. Um I wanna scout for a second. Toxic. I'm immune to poison, so that's good, but it's gonna go for a dark move. Oh, never mind. It's going for confusion strats. Okay. Taunt. Does Manuba does this Manibuzz even have like anything? Root? Hold on. Roost. Toxic. Uh, what was it? Uh, the confusion one. That's swagger, but for special attacks. What was the last one? Toxic, roost, the flatter. Taunt. This Magni Buzz has no way to directly hurt me. Interesting. Thought out, really? Okay. No, 1 HP. It's gonna go for Roos. It's faster. You know what? Since I know Manny Buzz can't do anything to me. Is this just all Manny Buzz? You know, this is something where I really should look into the Battle Mason. And see if it's like, oh, here's a list of Pokemon. But if you see Magnabuzz, 
you know exactly what it's doing. It's all the same Manny Buzz. Versus if you were playing Gen 4, if you see Manny Buzz, it could be one of three Magna Buzz that could do different things. You don't know which one you're getting. Cross Poison. I mean... I should swap. There's no reason to stay in. Alright, nice bunch it is. Good thing I didn't waste it all on mana buzz. See if I can find info on this. Ice Punch is still the best way to go. Okay, let's see if we can find info. Probably on Bogopia, but looking around. Try this again. Giga Drain. Wow, that's not doing much damage. That's not what I want. Yep, just keep going for Ice Punch. Leech Seed, yeah. Leech Seed, Toxic, Protect. Giga Drain, yep. Need the exchange service. Hmm. Continue bowing. Again, trying to see if I can find any info. There's no one character that sows everyone. It's very much team based, obviously. There's some T comps better than others. I see. Aromatis is fairy. Oh no, I got swap. This is a Pokemon I didn't use. I don't know if it's any good. The one benefit of replaying Pokemon games is being like, you know what? I'm gonna use a Pokemon I have never used before and see if it's any good. I guess that's also the the idea of like uh, randomizers too. Oh great! Is Metagross gonna hit himself? No, we lucked out. We're going two. Um, Oregon 2 is weird. Let's just go for Earthquake. Lock on. It's going for some sort of, like, Zap Cannon. No, Meteor Mash, get out of here. And Meteor Mash. Accuracy, slow, defense boosting, mega evolution, status. I will earthquake. Why waste the meteor mash? Okay, I'm not finding anything about opponent Pokemon. Uh, 
Uh, current meta or dive comps? Not sure what that means, though. So mostly pick characters I want, like or want to try out. Hmm. Yeah, what does that mean? Dive would just make me think you jump into the air and you're diving at the opponent from the air and shooting him from above. That's what I would think that means. And thrust. Opponents can now use their hidden abilities. Is that possible? Okay. Uh. Uh, Houndoom. Houndoom should be faster. Let's go to Greninja. Each trainer is assigned to use a particular IV distribution in Pokemon set. I think it works as the following for super modes. First 10 battles, all trainers will use one will use set one Pokemon with 19 IVs. 11 through 20 is a mixed trainer. Some will use one set of 19. We'll set two Pokemon with 23. Okay, interesting. Um Hope pass. Rock steel. Scald will still work fine. Hmm. I'm just trying to think if there was a Pokemon where we saw them do different moves. It was it was the same Mon, but it was clearly a different loadout. Hmm. Oh, maybe this is what I need. Keep going, battle number six. Okay, restrictions, don't need that. Well, let me look. I interrupt the challenge without breaking injuries. Winning streak. Yep. Uh, stun tank. What? Hold on. I'm scouting. Flamethrower. I knew it. I knew it. I don't have anything that specifically takes down stun tank. Well, I have earthquake, but that requires going to Metagross. And I. Pretty sure Metagross is slower than Stun Tank, but it's not a safe swap in, I can say that. So we'll just stick with Scald. Um, it's teams' characters who can move quickly in and out of areas. Some tanks like Winston and Diva. Some are uh, some DPS or D uh, Genji and Tr Tracer. And a support most common is Lucio, due to his support ability to boost movement for his entire team. Okay, Greninja uh, or Gengar. Obviously, I'm faster. I'm getting the first hit. It's got a Focus Sash, Shadow Ball. I mean, so far that's normal. I was already low on health. If I stay in, I am currently faster, but Gengar has like, okay. You know what, uh, I don't think it matters, but let me check. What's Gengar's speed? It's like too much. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if I Mega Evolve or not. What's your speed? Yeah, 130. Okay, it doesn't matter. Gengar's faster. 
my best bet is to Mega Evolve and then just Pin Missile and hope Hypnosis misses. That's what I gotta hope for. I mi okay, it missed. Good. So far, every Gengar we've seen had the same loadout. Now, granted, we are in rounds one through... Oh, I don't have Greninja anymore. Oh, this is bad, actually. Well, I have more defense. Yes. We win. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Oh, there's a list of trainers and a list of Pokemon. That's what I want. Let's let's take a look. Okay, we don't need normal course. We'll keep going. Because we're in the super course. There's a lot of Pokemon listed here. Okay, now this is just for normal. I want super course. Okay, poison fighting. This is where Psychic would be very useful, but I don't have it. I can't swap into Greninja. I can't swap into Metagross. I want to, I want to see what it does. Big app, good. Okay. Let's think about it like this. I, sadly, I lost access to Starmie. You know what? Okay. If this Toxicroak has access to both a poison move and a fighting move, it is not going to go for a fighting move. It will... Why would it? It will probably... Wait, no. Fighting doesn't resist... Please. No, uh, okay. No, hold on. Is bug weak to poison? No, it resists. But I do resist fighting. I guess that's bug. So, yeah. It's going to go for poison. It's going to go for poison. <sighs> we're going. We're just going for it. Let's just go for it. Okay. Okay. Shadow Ball, Dream Eater, Nightmare, Hypnosis. Okay, there are multiple Gengars. I wasn't even paying attention to what Toxic Brook was doing. Oh, okay. It's going for Brick Break. Okay, so there are multiple Gengars. There's four of them. However, one thing I was reading, it's like... There's multiple sets that they'll pick from. And the farther you go, they'll either take from, like, two different ones, or maybe more become available. I'm not sure. Oh, fairy. Duh. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, get to Metagross. Yeah, there's a different Rosal Raid, too. Leaf Storm, Hyper Beam, Grass Whistles, Sludge Bomb. Okay. Yeah, I found a different Toxic Croak, too. Okay, so we don't, we won't exactly know 
However, Protect is just such a good scouting move. Come on, let me look for... Mandy... Is it Mandy Buzz? No. There's probably multiple. Oh, great. Doug Trio. I just realized. Going for Dig. <sighs> I don't have the best way to deal with this. We'll eat the hit. Yeah. Focus Ash? Dang it. Is Duck Trio gonna go for Dig or something else? I'm thinking Dig, but we'll see. There it is. I should have swapped. Alright, Metagross is uh, probably gonna faint here. There it is. Okay. Go with Greninja and then we'll just Skull. That's all we need. Hmm. Did I miss? Oh, uh, protect. What was happening? Oh, attract. Are you kidding me? We're dealing with the track stats, the strats here. Are you? Mm. Oh, come on. Well. Also, Duck Trio is faster. Are we losing to this stupid Jug Duck Trio? Might be. Oh, I should have gone Bold Seed. Yeah, Duck Trio is using Protect. What are you gonna do? Reversal. You're probably only. I hate attract sass. It is so stupid. There's nothing I could do. That's it. Okay. That's that's something to worry about. That's something to keep an eye on. Okay, well... Go back in and try again, I guess. Super singles. Didn't even make it that far. This is just one of those cases where kind of scouting out what we're dealing with, but... After a while, we're going to be getting to a point where we don't know what we're dealing with. Okay, there are Mandy Buzzes that are, have different movesets, too. But... Caesar, I don't have fire moves. Honestly, I'm better off staying in. 
Actually, what is your first move thing to do? Aerial Ace? Okay, we can't stay in. It's a good thing I thought of that. Can't toxic, so just earthquake. Oh no, a night slash. That's actually pretty bad. Hmm. If we have to go with a different team, I mean, we don't have to go with singles or super singles we can go into uh doubles if we want to but i don't really have the proper team for it. but that gives us four pokemon to work with and eh, we're better staying sticking around Yeah, just eating the hit. Ground steel. Fighting works. Water works. Doesn't really matter. Mega. Arm thrust. Again. We could try doing doubles and do trick room strats. That is an option. I did bring the Bronzor. But I don't have the other two. I want to build it myself. Oh, sorry. Uh, can't play Genji to save my life. He's very he's very movement kit based, so he's very high skill ceiling. But I bet if you were to take the time to learn how to use him, it'd be very fun. That's the thing about high skill skill ceiling. Yeah. Sword stand. If we were to stick with singles. Okay, what? What's our current problem? So far, our roadblocks have been Gengar and Doug Trio. However, with. No, I think we could deal with it. Let's say we have our full team against Doug Trio. And turn one is probably going to try to go for a tract. Right? So, swapping to Metagross right away is not the worst idea. No. Too bad Greninja doesn't have Protect. Because that would have helped. But Greninja's slower than... Duck Trio. Oh, I didn't... I did not think a Duck Trio with a Tract would be my downfall. I almost need to Toxic it. That might actually be the better option. Let me look. I know Doug Trio's fast. 120, okay. King's Rock. 
Okay. So yeah, 120 speed for Ductrio. Greninja is... How fast are you? 122! Huh. Interesting. Greninja should be faster than- oh, uh, Maybe just Barry. Hold oh, barely. Let me check something. What is my... I can't see my... I can't see my nature. Oh. Uh, well, we'll stick in with Metagross for now. An earthquake for more accuracy, I guess. Oh, milk drink, I forgot about that. Milk take might just keep going for milk drink. And there it is. This is why we still have toxic. Lumberry. Okay, fine. Planned for that. by poison. You have heal bell. Okay, never mind. Well, just go for the... Okay, now you're gonna go for the attack. Or, uh, you're going for milk drink. Makes me wonder if Metagross is just not as good anymore, and there might be a better option. Maybe the part Psychic is hurting Metagross? More than helping? Or maybe it's just its speed, I don't know. Granted, another thing, we neither my Starmie nor my Metagross have good IVs. Gen 6 was the first one to really make it easy to breed IVs onto a Pokemon. I could take the time to make a better Metagross and Starmie. That's why I sent over a Bagon and a Bronzor. Just in case I might need them. Really nice to know if. You know what? You might have fake out. Roar. Okay. Wait, roar still works? Even if you use protect? Huh. First of all, Explode being faster than Metagross didn't see that coming. Second all, flamethrower. Honestly, I should expect that. X Wild is kind of known to be kind of a mix attack. Um. No, you know what? We're staying in. Bye, Metagross. Because we could just we could make a new Metagross and Starmie. Ones with better IVs. We can't do that with Heracross. But we could totally do that for Metagross and Starmie. It's either that or I make another Trick Room strategy for doubles. And we go in doubles. Oh, I lost Metagross. Dang it. Fine, we're gonna have to go with... Oh, you're setting up Wish. Okay, I don't have anything to deal with Florius, but I gotta get rid of her before... I was hoping for burn. Okay. Should have expected energy ball. 
I think we lost. Hmm. I think my best shot is spin missile. I'm pretty sure if she's pretty slow. So I should be able to go first. I keep forgetting fairy resist bug. I keep forgetting that. Well, you took the time to set up wish. That allows me to use bullet seed. We lucked out. Your serene. Okay. Arm thrust. That was. Mm. Interesting. We're barely getting that. We're not getting that far so far. It, like, we haven't even hit rank 10. We haven't even gotten to the battle number 10. And we're already kind of struggling. Water fighting, I see no problem with this. You know what, I'm gonna protect, see what you're trying to do. Waterfall, okay. Bolt seed it is. Okay, what if I went back to the trick room strat? It required me to have Bronzong with Earthquake. Was it Zen Headbutt? It might have been Zen Headbutt. No, Earthquake, Iron Head, Gravity. We're, sw we're swapping out. Gravity and Explosion. The level 2 Togekiss with Protect and Endure. Focus Sash. The Dusk Noir. No, wait, no. The Bronze Zone has Trick Room. The Dusk Noir has Gravity. Then it just had, like, a couple attacking moves. Shadow... What was it? Shadow Sneak? I forget. I, I wasn't the one that had it. Oh, it's using Dig? Okay, well, stick around. You know, if Greninja's not using U-turn that often, I might just keep- I might just have Protect. I feel like Greninja with Protect might be more useful. Um... It's either I stay in Scald or U-turn. I'll stay in Scald. Try to get the burn. T-Bolt. And then for the fourth one, it's whoever you want your ribbon for. We have Iron Head for fairies, and besides, they're going to be. You know, Trick Room Strat, I think, will still work. I can't think of any actual issues that were added in Gen 6 that might make Trick Room not work anymore. I don't even know if Mega Evolution would actually change anything. That is an option to go with, but I would have to build up the team.
We're going to may go for psychic. Lock on. Right, duh. I should have realized that. Kind of dealing with the same set. Magic coat. Oh, magic coat is you bounce back status stuff. Magic armor, or magic art, whatever that ability was that Aspion has. Still could go for Psychic. Nope, you went with Magic Code again. Does this Porygon not have? Wait. Now I have to look. Does this Porygon 2 not have anything? It has Blizzard and Zap Cannon. Um, no, we're swapping. Citrus Berry, Blizzard, Magic of Zap Cannon. Lock on. I don't understand why it went for Magic Coat twice. I don't understand why it didn't try going for Zap Cannon. It's weird. It could have. Could have done something. Tar? Okay. Sip of water. Oh, this isn't even the sandstorm one. T wave. Okay. This is a weird Tyranitar. Still faster, though. I'm sure you how fast is Lippy Lippy? Pretty sure it didn't matter in Gen 4. Just trying to look up stuff. Keep going. Dude. Ah, great. Okay. Not, not helpful. If I'm correct, this licky licky is. T-Bolt, Ice Beam, Psych Up, and me first. I should be able to just Mega Evolve Arm Thrust. So, I do think if we have to, Trick Room Strat is something we can do. We might swap... Dusk Noir with Dusk Glops instead. Should have a... No, it's a Key Bear. Oh, wow! Looky Looky was able to tank that. N okay, now I'm curious. What is Looky Looky's stats? If it could tank a Heracross, a physical Heracross with the base attack of, uh, with a base attack of one like eighty, one eighty-five. Something else is going on. Actually, you know what? This guy score might be going for a flying move. Acrobatics, yep. Metagross. Let me look at Licky Licky. How did you survive that? Acrobatics. Then we are going. To... This isn't even a poison heal fly score. Fling, Razor Fang. Okay. So yeah, 50 speed, 110 HP, 95 defense. Doesn't sound like it would be able to tank it, but clearly it did. Interesting. I think it just had the HP. I mean, I can swap back. Huh? 
I should have expected that. We're gonna give it one shot. Bye, Hercules. Curse. Okay, well, we have another shot. Although Umbreon boosts the defense. Three in a row. Come on. Oh, fine. Greninja it is. I could U-turn, but... No. We're going with Skull. Oh, wait. It could synchronize. No? This is an inner focus, Umbreon? Okay, then use Payback. No, I don't want to U-turn. Because all that means is... Uh, I need to get out of confusion. Hmm. Mo oh, moonlight. This is going to be a long battle. Curse done so many times. Strap in for a longer battle. We're gonna be here for a while. It could try to confuse me. that case let's try let's see how much u-turn will do bug type same uh, we could stab after two curses it wasn't enough uh, what to do I can't poison poison would have been better Toxic would be way better in this situation. What do I do? I got, I got an attack boost, but that's not gonna... Okay. See, they're going for Moonlight? Okay. Or it was gonna go for Payback. With my boost and attack, let's try to deal as much damage as possible. back. My gross is down. We're losing this one. Greninja. And we gotta go for Skull. Okay, good. Never mind. We have a chance. Glide score. Ice beam. Okay. 
That was... That was interesting. So if I see Umbreon, go with Toxic. I'm going with Burn. But that's for that particular Umbreon. It is a win. It is a win. We'll take it. I am still wondering if maybe Trick Room Strat might be the better option. The more consistent way. I think we're fine if we protect. Unless Haxorus is going for Dragon Dance. No, it we went for Roar. Okay. Well, no matter which one you went to, uh, we're going for Ice Beam, so... Saxorus just made it worse for himself. Kingdra. I don't have a dragon move, nor do I have a fairy move. Um, go with neutrals, I guess. Just go with Dark Pulse for now. Let's see what we got. I mean, granted, Kindra's scary. Don't get me wrong, but... Uh, it doesn't have anything that destroys my team. Stuck using Outrage, so we'll go with Metagross. We'll just Earthquake. You know, I should have swapped, but... Oh, well. Not a big deal. Let's see what this last one is. Dust Noir. Ghost. Oh, I lost my ability to deal with ghosts now. Uh, let's Toxic this. Oh no, I'm burned. Yeah, good thing dust, this Dust Noir doesn't have a way to do a port, uh, get rid of that. I forget, does Ghost resist steel? It's hard to tell. Oh, well, it doesn't matter anyway, we're going with Earthquake. But, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, the reason why in Gen 4 we went with Dust Noir was I believe it had slight, slightly, and I emphasize slightly, better defenses. But it became faster than... Uh, it was faster than Bronzong. So you had to use an Iron Ball to slow it down, so then in Trick Room it's it will now go first. To set up gravity. I wonder if that strategy is still needed, because I'm thinking, instead of Dust Noir, you go with Dust Glops and give it an Evil Light. Because if that, if you could do that, if Dust, if Dust Glops is slower than Bronzong, then we can have even way better defenses and do the same strategy. Let me look. This is a slow fight, but it's working. Yeah, Dust Noir was only useful in one gen. <laughs> the next gen, when Evil Light came out, he was outclassed by Dust Glops. Okay, so Dust Noir has 45 speed. 45 speed. Dust Glops has 25. And let me just check Bronzong very quick. Twenty-five forty-five. Bronzong has thirty-three. So we could still do the trick room. Oh, great, Starmie. So we could still do the trick room strat. However. We could probably do it even better, because we can have Dusclops with Evil Light. We're still slower than 
Bronzong, use gravity. And just do the same thing, but we're, we're even better now. I don't see any problem with that. Uh, Dark Pulse. Cosmic power! Get more defenses! Well, even with that. Oh, great! Starmie's gonna stall. And I'm slower. Was that crit? Yeah, I think I needed that. Spencer, okay. You're probably gonna go with a bug move. Or a fighting. You know what? This is actually the time to U-turn. Because I could go back to Heracross and resist. Alright, Mega... Pin Missile, I guess. So that is an option if we want to do doubles. Make a... Uh, trick Room Team. That, that sounds like it will still work. But what if we want to stay in singles? What is our current problem? Granted, part of our problem is that, like, we see a Pokemon that we haven't dealt with yet, and we don't know what it does. Groundwater. But, oh, but let's see. Like, I wasn't expecting the Dugtrio to use... Attract. So, knowing ahead of time, we could probably just utilize Metagross a bit better. Maybe that's the only th Yeah, I'm just... It's hard to say, because Gengar! We have an idea of what, what to do with Gengar. It's kind of luck-based, though. I mean, Metagross has a better shot, but it's not a safe swap in, so we'll... I want to know what you do. What are you going for? T-Wave? Okay. Sadly, I'm not going for Facade. And again, that is still an option. We could go back to the Facade strategy. Do we need to, though? I mean, with facade, I, with the facade strategy, I would say, look at, look at what they did to Whale Lord. Are you kidding? Look how tiny you are. Uh, the glory of Lair Lord that was in Pokemon Coliseum is gone now. You're not even a true Whale Lord. I don't believe it. So sad. Fairy type came out, facade still works too. It's hard to say right now. Oh, hi, Dragon. Guess who's weak to fighting? And Buck. Wait. What are you going for? Taunt. Okay. No flamethrower. Because I know he can do that. Taunt. Uh, 
Could you believe me that... I'm pretty sure Hydreigon can learn taunt. Wasn't out of the question. That can use Flamethrower. I think we'll be fine, though. Stunting's faster. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Maybe if it was... If I wasn't mega I might be able to outspeed a stun tank. Then Hydreigon. I cannot use Protect. There's Dragon Pulse. And we're out of here. It's fine. We got Greninja with Ice Beam. We're good. We're safe. But so far, like, I'm trying to think if, like, if there's some other strategy we can do in singles that might make this go better. And I think it's just very situational. Other than the Trick Room strategy for doubles, that may just be the best strat we could do. Molly, what? No attention. Hmm. Everything I have is kind of neutral to Shuckle. But, you know what? I, I don't think we need to stay in. Or, I mean, I don't think I need we, we need to swap out. Because I was thinking, ah, uh, water would get through this, but... Shuckle doesn't have the HP. Let's see how this goes. Okay. That was a crit. Okay. Rock slide? I mean, Shuckle's not doing much. We could stay in. We could stay in. Yeah, Shuckle has the defense, but he only has like 5 HP, so. Encore. Okay, I'm gonna continue using Arm Thrust. One more. Power trick. Okay, now... Now it's going for a very strong rock slide. Imagine if it encored my protect. Is that even possible? I don't think so. Well, I'm still using arm thrust. With or without encore. Ended. Is this the. Okay, yeah. Keep using arm thrust. What else do we got? So far, we need to keep an eye on Dugtrio and Gengar. Like, those are the big threats. With Umbreon, I just need to... Toxic. <laughs> Not burn. But we might be at the point where they might be doing other stuff instead of what we know. Let's see. This is probably an Intimidate Lux Ray. No. No. No Intimidate. Really? Roar, okay. Well, we're going with Earthquake. Roar again. Back to Heracross. I mean... I'm not even Mega Evolving. I'm just using Pin Missile. 
Because I might need that speed for a different Pokemon. Or, you know, I just swap out. Uh, you know what? T-Bolt would have been great for Skarmory. I want to see what you do. Brave Bird. There it is. Metagross it is. Yeah, T-Bolt works better than Ice Beam on Skarmory. And I can't poison you. Honestly, I am sad this isn't Gen 7, because I would I could have used Salazzle. Because Salazzle can poison seal types. It would have been amazing right here. Weak armor. Defenses fell, but your speed rose. Ooh. There's the sword stance. That's gonna be that's gonna be bad. Honestly, if Metagross faints and we have to go to like Greninja, this is gonna be very bad. <laughs> there it is. Okay, we're good. Jolteon. We got Earthquake. Rain Dance Thunder combo? Is that what you're going with Jolteon? One thing we could do is we can look through Greninja's moveset and see if we want to replace a uh, U-turn with anything else. I don't use U-turn that much. Besides, it's uh, way weaker because Greninja doesn't have good physical attack. I wonder if there's a better move we can swap out with. Because I don't really use it. Other than protect, obviously. Because protect might actually be a better option for Greninja. Wait. Absol might fake out. Oh, ooh, that's bad, actually. Not as strong as the Sword Stance, but you get your Accuracy Boost. Let's see, what can we use? We could get Extra Sensory. That's a Psychic move. That's actually pretty good. Hold on, can we just learn Psychic? Well, there's Grass Knot as an option. You know what? I can tank a Flamethrower. Moment- Oh no, we need to get out of here. Yeah, Grass Knot's an option. I already have Dark Pulse. Of course. Of course. Okay, uh, Greninja. I need to get my sats back. <laughs> Go back to Heracross. Uh, focus Ash, Focus Ash. I mean, like, other than Extra Sensory, which gives me a Psychic move to deal with fighting types, it's e basically I'm kind of at three options here for Greninja. We keep, we keep U-Turn, which hasn't hurt anything, but it hasn't really benefited us too much. Not that much. Uh, swap to extrasensory 
It's 80 damage and it's a psychic move. It could cause the tar target to flinch. That's something. It's not psychic, but it's a psychic type move that lets us deal with fighting types as a Greninja. Or three, we go protect. Because protect's a great scouting move. Or give it something like toxic. That's four. That's a fourth one. But if we're already going for... Uh, if we're already trying to go for... Uh, burn the Scald. Trying to have Toxic in there is not the best. You know what? I'm going to set Toxic up right now. Cause you're good. You went for it. Wish, you know. Hurt by poison. Okay, wish is not. Either, well, wish might have went first. I don't know. Maybe it's this round. I forget. And if we go back to Heracross, we can protect. Oh, I missed. But, you know, Toxic still handled it. Star Raptor. Ice Punch. Oh, U turn. Okay. What are you going for now? Your own Metagross. Okay. <laughs> I would have would have laughed if that Metagross had like leftovers as well. Okay. Oh, your Metagross is faster than my Metagross, but my Metagross has Earthquake. And I have leftovers. Oh, your attack went up, but you won't survive the Earthquake. Sadly, I think Metagross is going to faint into Brave Bird. But I think Greninja will be fine. So we're going to Ice Punch. Ice Beam. Star Raptor goes for close combat. Oh, Focus Sash. Feather Dance. Okay, my attack went down. Okay. I can live with that. It could have easily gone for close combat and, I, and it would have super affected me. Then it's Star Raptor versus Heracross. And I will probably lose. Oh. Okay. It wouldn't have been as bad if my Metagross was faster than that one. Oh, great. Raviary. Alright, let's protect. I want to see what you do. Pluck. Flying move, okay. Metagross it is. I do think having a steel type like Metagross is still a good option. Like, this sort of moveset with a steel type is kind of good for what I need. I just don't know if Metagross should be the one to do this. Because I'm not even using its psychic typing right now. So it makes me wonder if I should have should pick a different steel type. I don't know. Heracross? Uh, I would say Heracross is up there as one of my favorites. That's part of the reason why I chose it. 
I mean, the other reason is it's one of the few Pokemon that can actually get a ribbon from every game. Bye, Metagross. Because remember, Sword Shield, uh, Legends, and... Oh, we'll go with the Ninja. Sword Shield, Legends, and Scarlet and Violet, you can't put every Pokemon in there. Heracross is actually one of the Pokemon that can actually go into all three of those games, so... That was part of the reason why we went with Heracross. But I do really like Heracross, so that, that was a bonus. Uh, scald for a bit. But how's it going, Act? We only need one more ribbon. One Piece manga? Uh... Yeah, I, I'm assuming you're talking about... Uh, let me look. Chapter... 1099. Wow, we are one away from... Uh... 1,100 chapters. Uh, no, like... So, I mentioned before that I felt like... The one chapter by itself is not enough. I think we are getting to that point where... Enough... Enough of the backstory has built up to where now we are at the point where in this flashback set we are getting more interesting and interesting chapters. A need I, I told you before that the first couple chapters didn't really mean that much because not enough is there yet. But now in chapter 1099, thinking back on those first couple chapters of the flashback, it all builds up to where it's it's really good right now. Seeing the... how he became uh, known as the Tyrant. How, how he's... Uh, why he decided to do the Pacifista project. No, it... Like, it's going good. I like it. Maybe. Who knows? I don't think I need to protect. I think I could just go straight for the arm thrust. I mean, maybe there's a little bit of Kuma in there. It's hard to say. When was the last time we saw Kuma? Not counting the flashback, obviously. Ah, oh, bravery. Okay, um, let's just go straight to Metagross. I'm assuming we'll, we'll be fine. Did they show Bonnie eat the devil fruit, like, in the flashback? Because all, it just seemed like all of a sudden Bonnie just had the devil fruit powers. Kind of feel like, oh, she has them now. Like, how'd that happen? Like, okay... But, uh, I think, uh, if I, if I remember the timeline correctly based on that, uh, chap, one of the more recent chapters, I think it's heavily implied that, or pretty much stated that Bonnie's actually very young. Like, in current, current day. Hmm. I remember seeing something. Is it in one of the, please tell me it's in one of the three most recent chapters. Uh... Do I need Toxic? No, I don't. I need your mash. Rock Wrecker. Oh, it's faster. Okay. No, this is Ginny stuff. Okay. We probably intentionally left out how, how she ate the fruit. Yeah, maybe it's because Kuma never saw her eat the fruit, so that's why we don't know. Whereas, if we got a flashback for Bonnie specifically, we would find out. We probably won't. Yeah, she's stuck in the church all day. Like, how did she come across it? Yeah, I'm wondering that too. 
It was Kuma brought it back, but why would he do that? Oh, and I think they implied that Ku uh, I remember seeing they said uh, Kuma's like whole like getting rid of the pain thing. Someone else has to take it or else the pain would go back to the main user. That was explained. It's not like a question I was asking, but a slight explanation was nice to see. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, I remember reading something. Okay. In this flashback, Bonnie's five years old at this point from this uh, chapter 1098. Mega Arm Thrust should be fine. Let me look at... Is there a... Let me see if I can find something else. Because I, if I am correct, based on the what year it was, I think current Bonnie is like actually maybe something like 12. Like, it's I think she's actually way younger than what we think she is. I mean, the, the fruit she ate would obviously hide that really well, but I just forget like the timeline of events at the moment. If I could find a year. I see it roughly two years later here, but that's not helping. Uh, Breloom? Yeah, we can pin missile. Seed bomb. We're fine. Sorry, I, I'm looking at this because it, it, it's now making me think. Because I think Bonnie's actually way younger than what she is currently. Or what she tends to look like. Sorry, I'm just kind of quickly going through this manga very quick. Okay. So, in the One Piece story, I found it on the same page. It says seven years ago, Bonnie was five years old. Bonnie's 12. Bits and pieces recently started reading the new chapters without going back to read what you missed. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Crocodile might actually use Fake Out. Yeah, no, in the not this current chapter, but the one before it, it shows Bonnie age 5 on that same page. It says 7 years ago. Bonnie is 12 years old. And I'm pretty sure she uses the age fruit to, like, make herself look like, I don't know, 17. What are we looking at with Crocodile? Embargo. No items. Oh, no. I can't use my Mega Stone. I actually don't think it affects it anyway. Even if I didn't Mega Evolve. So, are you just uh, staying to the most recent chapters act? Or are you going to jump around a bit and see what you miss? Oh, Drapion, I really don't like you. Cross Poison. We can go to Metagross. We can Earthquake. I can't Toxic, but we can Earthquake. I see. I used to watch like a One Piece tuber talk about the chapters once. Well, maybe not even the chapters, but every once in a while. But I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I read the chapter myself. Once there's something like really revealing about what what happens in the chapter itself, I'm kind of good. I with One Piece, I don't really need as a discussion on the chapter week by week, you know. Because most of the time, not much really happens. Most of the time. Again, it's like... 
like it's like a build up a certain chapter of uh, multiple chapters that when it actually matters. Oh yeah, we got this. I could have used pin missile the entire time. Good to know. Okay, Haunch Crow, you're probably faster. Let me protect. Well, that was a wasted turn. I'm better off for Good Ninja anyway. Let's just go ahead and pin missile. Stay in. Oh, I am faster. Launch crew must be pretty slow. I want to double check that. I'm going to double check his speed. You know, before I assume things. Launch crow. Bow 19, okay. 71, even when I'm Mega Heracross, I'm four base speed higher, okay. So, I'm probably faster than maybe every, every one I see, every the Haunch Crow I see. Be pretty interesting. That is true, we are getting a lot more out of the five Elders, or at least uh, we're getting more out of, what's his name, Saturn? Like, they're finally actually doing something. Screech. I would want to swap to Earthquake, but you're not... Unless you have Fire Punch, you're not dangerous yet. What's Pin Missile? I mean, I didn't think they were going to be helpless, but... We just didn't see them do anything. And now they're actually doing something. And at least Saturn's terrifying. You know? Because this is One Piece. If you're an old man, you're probably very powerful. I mean, Garp's still powerful. Look at him. Get Greninja in here. Yeah, I think in One Piece, if you're old, that doesn't mean, like, you're probably way stronger than everyone else. But yeah, One Piece is one of those things where it's like, you want the current story to continue on, and then as soon as like, oh, we're getting a flashback again? Oh, didn't we just do this? This is gonna be a while. And then, like, you're interested, after, after a few chapters of the flashback, you're getting interested in the flashback, and you're like, oh, this is so nice. And then by the time you get back to the main plot, I forget what happens. <laughs> I forget what was going on. Honestly, I do feel like One Piece is better. I, I, I do feel like One Piece, it, like, I do feel the struggle of re reading it week by week. I understand people struggle during Dressrosa. I wasn't there reading it during Dressrosa, but reading it for through Wano, I could feel the pain. I can feel what people were complaining about Dressrosa. Because I always heard Dressrosa is a very long story. And it feels bloated, sort of thing. But by the time I read it, it was already done. And it was a pretty good read through. Let's stop keeping up with manga that are ongoing. No, I get it. I get it. Well, that's why I usually don't worry about reading the chapters week by week. I usually just wait for, like, the next volume to come out sort of thing and just read that as they come out. Or as I get them, I should say. It's society, but the drip is slower than Slowpoke. It's... It's not that... Okay, no. We get a chapter basically every week. And if not every week... Every other week. Uh, maybe not every other week. Sometimes it will be the next week. And Clado, you know, got himself out of here. That's great. That saves me the op. Uh, that saves me time. Oh, I don't need to leave. You can pin missile, I guess. 
Actually, Bold Seed might have been the better choice. Like, we get... We keep getting the chapters. This isn't like Hunter x Hunter. Uh, the problem is, what happens in each chapter, it feels slower than a slowpoke. You know? <laughs> Amnesia special defense team went up. Uh, I can use Pen Missile again. Mm, okay, never mind. No, King's gonna survive another one. Let's go for Bullet Seed. Maybe I'll deal neutral. Maybe this will be better. Did you get a crit? Yeah, Bullet Seed was better. I heard Hunter Hunter uh, Togashi just uh, leaked uh, the ending for Hunter Hunter. Because I think he's, he's worried about his health again. So I think he... Uh, basically release the ending, at least in like, bullet point form of what he might be going for. Just to get it out there. You know, just in case something happens to Togashi. But he also said that if he wanted to finish Hunter x Hunter, he'd probably just get his wife to finish for him. If something were to happen to him. I, ha I didn't look into it, but I heard that recently happened. Man, imagine trying to read Hunter x Hunter week, week by week. Oh, uh, the pain of people that were waiting for, what, three, four years for the most, one of the more recent chapters that came out, I think this year. Like, oh, I feel your pain. Did he use Intimidate? Uh, I think he might have. Roar, okay. No, this might not be Intimidate. Well, we'll Earthquake. It's all good. Because of Wano, this is supposed to be the final arc. Yeah, Otis says we're in the final stretch. That's the thing, not not necessarily... Uh, I would say more the final saga, maybe not final arc. I think there's a difference there. Like, we're in the final stretch of it. But... Final arc would imply that, well, they already said we're going to, uh, actually, wait a minute, hold on. They are implying we're going to Elbath. Uh, okay, we could go back to Heracross. Uh, yeah, they already said we're basically going to Elbath, and I don't think that's where the final story is going to be located, so that's why I'd say this is the final saga. Because we're probably going to be jumping around to, like, different places for a little bit. Like, Egghead is a pit stop. I bet you Elbaf is a pit stop before we get, get to, like, the final island that we're mainly going to be at. Heal Psychic. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one I use. Let's just stay in. We'll let Metagross come in later. Light Screen. Special Defense went up. Probably gonna go for... Uh, reflect, too. Nope. That crit probably mattered. Well, I got it. Yeah, I, I don't think... I don't really read much manga week by week. The except... I think One Piece is the exception. Even back when I was younger, and I was, like, really into Naruto. I mean, I have all the books now, but... Even when I was... You know, into Naruto, I don't remember if I was reading week by week. I don't think I was... I was watching the Japanese dub of the anime because they would have been way farther ahead than wh whenever the dub eventually came out. I would I would do that. But I didn't 
read the manga week by week. I think I hear things here and there, but... It doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, arm thrust. Don't have a fire move. Okay. Next scissor. Ouch. Actually, I did use it as Scavalier back in Gen 5. I remember liking it. Don't know if I actually utilize it to its full uh, potential, but I remember you liking it when I did use it. Oh, this is great. Flash Cannon. Oh, 2 HP. So yeah, Act, are you going to go back through and read stuff that you might have missed? Or are you just going to just keep the uh, keep it going? Uh, Archaeops. Okay, well. Bye, Hercules. I was expecting acrobatics, but, you know, I knew we weren't going to make it. Uh... We can Metagross. Rock flying. We can we can Meteor Mash. And if we have to go for Greninja. Wasn't expecting Earth Power. We have Ice Beam. Actually, no, we have Scald. Go for that instead. Yeah, part of me already forgot what was going on in the main uh, story, uh, you know, before the... Sorry, before before uh, the Kuma flashback. Let me go with Protect. What Gengar is this? Fire Punch. Okay, this is a completely different Gengar. Ugh, reading manga? No, may watch the anime. I see. Hey, Christmas break, you have plenty of time. What, what Gengar is this trying to be? Sucker Punch, okay, that's... I can deal with that. This one didn't have the focus sash. Now I'm curious. Okay. I know there's like four Gengars, but do any of them have fire? Any other ones have fire punch? Go Scald. Okay, I found the one with fire punch. Sucker punch, fire punch, ice punch, will o wisp. We could just use... Oh, I could have gone with Bold Seed. It didn't matter. As long as I hit it. Okay, so if I ever see Gengar with Fire Punch, I know it's that particular one. Oh, Zep Striker. Might have... Yeah. I didn't Mega Evolve last time because I figured I might need the extra speed. But... Substrike is faster anyway. I figured that would happen. So far we're doing... I'm jinxing myself, but... So far we're doing way better than, like, my first, like, what, four attempts where I couldn't get past rank 10. And part of the problem was that I just didn't know what Pokemon were going to what the Pokemon were going to do. So far, so far this is doing well. 
We'll see. I probably just jinxed myself there. Gyarados. I don't have T-Bolt. That would have been nice. It's kind of why I still wish I had. Sorry, me. Uh, my attack went down. I want to see what you do. Waterfall. You probably don't have a fly move, or else you would have went for it. My attack went down. So that's not helpful. Sally, flying actually resists all three of my moves Hercules has. And now also I got the attack down. But I don't really have anything that specifically beats Gyarados anymore. Other than, like, going for, like, Toxic. And then... I don't know, Ice Punch. This is Super Singles in basically the Gen 6 equivalent of Battle Tower. There are two ribbons for this mode. There's basically the normal mode, whether it's singles, doubles, uh, multi-rotation battles. Like, there's a lot of modes you could go with. If you do the normal mode, you need 20 wins to get the ribbon, which I just did that this stream. Oh uh, yeah, it's going to take like a couple more. And that's with an attack drop too. Oh, you're using Dragon Dance, this is not good. But you, then, you need to do super singles or super doubles, like the super variants. And you then you need 50 wins to get this next ribbon. Honestly, thinking about it, Bullet Sea would have been neutral. Dang it! That would have been better. I think I'm in danger. Because Gyarados got to do Dragon Dance twice. I'm in danger. Oh, what to do? Do I try to Toxic? Do I try to go to attack? I don't know if Ice Punch will do it. You know what? And there's Earthquake. Wow, I survived. Mm. I... If only Greninja had Protect. Or if I still had Heracross. So oh, I think... I think this is it. I don't think Greninja's gonna somehow survive this. Unless I'm faster. I don't have a priority move. We're going, we're going for Scald. Earthquake. We're still in it. Maybe Toxic was the bad call, but... We're still in it. What's the last one? Wait, no. We got two more. Oh, no. We're not making this. Scald. Please burn. Crit. Charge beam. We're done. All right. <laughs> okay. So if I see that Gyarados again, I don't know what to do. <laughs> do I use Bullet Seed instead? Do I swap out to Greninja? So I get rid of my attack drop? I don't know. We made it close to round 30. We made it past the halfway point. I am wondering if we should continue the strategy. Because now that I've seen this Gyarados and what it's going to do, I could go with a different strategy. Part of the problem was I went with Pin Missile. If I went with Bullet Seed, it would have at least dealt neutral damage. That probably would have been the better option. It's either that or I swap to Greninja just to be kind of a sacrifice, but it's hard to say. Um, but I, I gotta end it now because I got some other stuff to do. So thanks for everyone who showed up. I am doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at ScottBot64 Stream Archives. Uh... We'll probably just try this again tomorrow, as is. If we're if we're struggling with super singles, 
I might have to take the time to start getting a trick room team ready to go. Because I think that might actually be the best thing we can do. It's hard to say. But anyway, have a good day. Later.